Hi folks, my name is Frank Burgos, this is Ugly Flexo, and today is February 3, 2008. It also happens to be uh, Super Bowl Sunday. As a matter of fact, I think the kickoff is in about 20 or 25 minutes. So, for all you sports fans out there, I hope that you enjoy your, uh, your Super Bowl game. Uh, in the meantime, I gotta get some work done. <laughs> so, uh... Uh, this, uh, this is a reply. I'm going to do a, uh, something here in reply to a request by Lee Ayers of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. She's a, an instructor, a teacher there at South Mecklenburg High School, and she does a great job with uh, high school kids and students, rather. And, um, and uh, it gives me a lot of pleasure, uh, Lee, to, to, to give it a shot here, give it a shot at helping you out. And there's some things that I'll uh, talk about at the end that I want to do more to help you out because I'm only a couple of hours away from you, all right? A couple hours north from you in uh, High Point. So uh, there are things that maybe I can do for you to help you out with your press. But in the meantime, let me, uh, let me read her, uh, her, uh, her question slash request or comments that she posted on our bulletin board at flexoexchange.com slash forum. And then uh, I'll go through the process of sharing some thoughts I have about this. She says, Frank, I have a 14-year-old Mark Andy 830 that has really never been serviced. I have a lot of little problems going on with it that makes teaching on that press difficult at best. What time period do you recommend for a thorough service call? Also, I have thoroughly enjoyed the Ugly Flexo on YouTube and I really want to be able to show segments to my students. The problem is that my school system blocks YouTube and I can't show them in class. I've had little uh, luck do downloading them to a DVD. Can you help? Lee. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to put this right over here uh, in this section of, of uh, Ugly Flexo. And uh, let me start with uh, the time period you recommend for a thorough service call. Um, uh, mo most machines, unless they're really just very simple machines, they come with some form or some attempt at a at a service schedule and you know the uh, the manufacturers do sometimes their best at giving you a kind of a brief outline uh, of certain areas you need to look at certain components you need to check and certain things to you need to look for but you know uh, even with the the bigger bigger machines the more expensive machines uh, really those service manuals tend to be in my opinion uh, uh, just a, a starting point I think that there's a process that you might undertake to evolve your own tailored uh, maintenance schedule over time uh, to get at where you really have a truly functional maintenance schedule, okay? So uh, I'll, uh, in, that, in the discussion I'm going to do, I'm going to address what I think might be certain uh, periods or time intervals to do a thorough service call, okay? And one of the things we're going to try to do, Lee, is we're going to try to avoid a, quote, thorough service call in the first place by uh, doing some really good um, uh, preventive maintenance and that sort of thing, okay? Also, you've had, you say that you've had little luck downloading these videos to a DVD, and I understand that there's a, there's a lot of different video formats that make the interchange from one format to the, other, to the other a little bit challenging and just like printing when you go from one stage to another a lot of times there's a degradation of quality or where you there's a reduction in quality and you can't go back so even if you were able to download this to DVD you probably wouldn't do uh, it probably wouldn't look it might not look so good but uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, talk to you about that and see if I can arrange to send you some of these videos okay now 